kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you! In this video, we will have integral and zero exponent, which is one of the lessons of grade 9 mathematics. So, dun muna tayo sa zero exponent. For any value or variable a where a is not equal to 0, a raised to 0 is equal to 1. Ibig sabihin, kapag ang base natin ay 1 or more, or 1 pataas, and then may exponent siya na 0, that is always equal to 1. Let's have the example, number 1, 5 raised to 0. So that is equal sa 1. Kapag naman 100 raised to 0, that is also equal to 1. Second example, 12x quantity raised to 0. So as you can see, ang 0 o ang exponent na 0 ay nasa labas ng parentheses. Ibig sabihin, isas, uh, i-distribute natin ang exponent na 0 sa 12 at x, kaya magiging 12 raised to 0 times x raised to 0. And then, tsaka natin isi-simplify, so 12 raised to 0 is 1, and x raised to 0 is 1, kaya 1 times 1 is 1. Third example, a squared plus 2a squared minus 4a raised to 0. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang may exponent lang na 0 ay yung negative 4a. So, hindi equal sa 1 ang a squared at 2a squared. So, let us just, uh, let us first simplify negative 4a raised to 0. So, that is uh, negative 1. And then, since magkatulad ng variable, at ng exponent ang a squared at 2a squared, i-add natin or ipa-plus. Kapag walang katabing number dito or numerical coefficient, that is 1. So, 1 plus 2 is 3a squared minus 1. Question, bakit hindi natin minus ang 1 sa 3a squared? Ito ay dahil ang 1 ay walang a squared. Kailangan lang natin silang i-minus kapag magkatulad sila ng variable at magkatulad din ng exponent. Fourth example, 48x to the fourth power yz squared over 6x squared yz. So kapag may nakita kayong ganyang fraction, yung dalawang number, iyon po ay ating i-divide. And then, yung exponent naman ng bawat variable, iyon po ay ating i-minus. So, let's have x, uh, 8 because 48 divided by 6 is 8. 8x raised to 4 minus 2. y raised to 1 minus 1. z raised to 2 minus 1. So, isa-isahin natin yung bawat variable. Paano naging 4 minus 2? 4 ang exponent ng numerator na x. And 2 naman yung exponent ng x sa denominator. Kaya naging 4 minus 2. And then, kapag walang nakalagay na exponent dyan, iyon po ay palaging 1. Kaya naging 1 minus 1. And then, 2 minus 1. So, let us simplify. That will become 8 x squared y raised to 0 z. 8 x squared 4 minus 2 is 2. And then, 1 minus 1 is 0. Kaya naging y raised to 0. And then, since ang 2 minus 1 ay 1, so, hindi na tayo maglalagay ng 1 sa upper right ng z. Next. Kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong exponent na 0 sa y, so iyon po ay palaging equal sa 1. So, alisin na lang natin yung y dahil 8 times 1 is 1. Uh, 8 times 1 is 8. So, the final answer is 8 x squared z. Proceed naman tayo sa integral exponent. So, an expression has an integral exponent if the exponent is either positive or negative integers. The negative sign in the exponent means the reciprocal. Thus, a raised to negative n equals 1 over a raised to n. So, kapag ang given nating exponent, uh, expression ay may exponent na negative, ibig sabihin gagawin natin reciprocal. Kapag sinabing reciprocal, gagawin lang natin fraction. Maglalagay tayo ng numerator na 1, palagi pong 1, over, gagawin na natin positive yung exponent, so that will become 1 over a raised to n. Similarly, if the expression with negative exponent is in the denominator, get its reciprocal to express the exponent as positive. So, kabaligtaran lang, kapag meron tayong given na 1 over a raised to negative n, 
So, kailangan mag-positive yung exponent. So, reciprocal na. Aalisin lang natin yung 1 and then yung a raised to n ay magiging numerator or whole number. And then, magiging positive na yung exponent. Okay, i-recall natin sa quotient rule sa loss of exponent, meron tayong tatlong condition. Yung first condition, magkatulad ang value ng exponent na m at n. So, kung ang m ay 1 at ang n ay 1 din, so 1 minus 1 is 0. a raised to 0 na naitakal na natin kanina sa 0 exponent. So, ang dalawa pang conditions ng quotient rule ay if m is greater than to n, so simple lang imaminus natin yung m sa n. Kapag naman mas malaki ang value ng n, so that will become m minus n. Pero kung mas malaki ang value ng n, so that will become negative exponent. So, ang gagawin natin, gagawin natin fraction or reciprocal. May numerator tayo na 1 and then imaminus natin ang n sa m. Pagpapalitin natin yung posisyon ng exponent ng numerator at ng denominator. So, let's have the example. Number 1, x to the 5th power over x cubed. Simple lang, isusubtract lang natin ang 5 sa 3, so the answer is x squared. Or, pwede natin gamitin yung expanded form. So, since ang exponent ng numerator ay 5, so 5x yon, and then ang denominator naman ay 3x. So, ipipair lang natin ang numerator sa denominator. So, let us cancel the first pair, second, and the third. And then, kung mapapansin nyo, meron lang natirang dalawang variable x sa numerator and wala na sa denominator. So, since merong dalawang variable x, the final answer is x squared. Or, kapag pinagpalit natin yung posisyon ng exponent ng numerator at denominator, so that is x cubed over x to the fifth power, that will become 3 minus 5. And then the answer is x raised to negative 2. That is the negative exponent. Or kapag naman expanded form, i-cancel natin ang pares ng tatlong uh, variable x o tatlong pares ng variable x. May natirang dalawang variable x sa denominator. So dito wala nang natira. So that is simply 1. And then the final answer is 1 over x squared. Since hindi nga tayo nag accept na negative exponent, gagawin lang natin reciprocal. Second example, 3x to the 4th power, y to the 6th power, over x raised to 7, y raised to 4. So, since wala tayo nakikita ditong um, numerical coefficient, so that is 1. 3 divided by 1 is 3. And then, simplify lang natin, x raised to 4 minus 7, y raised to 6 minus 4. 4 minus 7, 6 minus 4. And then, the answer or the resulting equation or expression will be 3x raised to negative 3 or negative cube y squared because 4 minus 7 is negative 3. Pero, since meron tayong negative na exponent ng variable x, ilalagay natin siya sa denominator. So, the final answer is 3y squared over x cubed. Another example, 8 raised to negative 2. Kung mapapansin nyo, wala na tayong variable. Ibig sabihin, isisimplify natin yan. So, 8 raised to negative 2, that is 1 over 8 squared. Because, when we um, simplify the negative exponent, that will become the reciprocal. And then, naging positive na yung exponent na 2. So, let us simplify, that is equal to 1 over 64 because 8 squared is simply as 8 times 8. So, 8 times 8 is 64. Fourth example, 10 over 5a raised to negative 2 or negative square. Okay, kung mapapansin nyo, kayong i-divide ang 10 sa 2. And then, ang exponent ng a dito ay negative 2. So, ilalagay lang natin siya sa numerator para maging positive yung exponent na 2. So, that will become... 5a squared over 10, pinagpalit natin yung posisyon ng 5a squared or negative 2, uh, negative squared at yung 10, and then simplify, 5 divided by 10 is 1 half, and then kinopya lang natin yung a squared. Next example, 4 raised to negative cube over 2 raised to negative 4. So, 
pagpapalit din natin yung posisyon ng dalawa para maging positive pareho, kaya naging 2 raised to 4 over 4 cubed. So, 2 raised to 4 is 16, 4 cubed naman is 64. Because yung 2 raised to 4, that is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Kapag naman 4 cubed, that is 4 times 4 times 4. Tatlong beses multiply ang 4 sa sarili niya, kaya naging 16 over 64. And then, since kayang i-divide o i-lowest term ang 16 sa 64, the final answer is 1 4. Last example, 8 times 2 cubed minus 14 times 5 raised to 0 minus 2 times 3 raised to negative 1. So, kung mapapansin nyo, um, meron tayong tatlong terms. So, isimplify muna natin yung mga nasa loob ng parentheses. So, kopyahin yung 8 and then 2 cubed is 8 because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Minus 14, 5 raised to 0 is always equal to 1. Minus 2, and then yung 3 raised to negative 1, i-reciprocal lang natin para maging positive yung ating exponent, kaya naging 1 over 3 raised to 1. Next, is to simplify. 8 times 8 is 64, minus 14 because 14 times 1 is 14. And then, kapag magmumultiply tayo ng whole number sa fraction, i-mumultiply lang natin ang whole number sa numerator. So, 2 times 1 is 2. And then, kukopyahin lang natin yung denominator na 3. Because 3 raised to 1, so isang 3 lang yon, So, simple, 3 lang yon. And then, subtract. 64 minus 14 is 50 minus 2 thirds. Paano nga ba tayo nagsusubtract ng whole number sa fraction? So, kung kanina sa multiplication, madali lang yung ating ginawa, Multiply ang whole number sa numerator and then copy the denominator. Kapag naman sa pagsusubtract or pag-a-add ng whole number sa fraction, kailangan nating hanapin yung LCD. Pero dahil walang denominator ang 50, automatic ang ating denominator or LCD is 3. And then, 3 uh, divided by 1, since 1 ang denominator palagi ng whole number, so 3 divided by 1 is 3. Times, five, uh, times 50 is 150. Minus 2. Hindi na natin minultiply pa ito sa 3 dahil automatic meron talaga siyang denominator na 3. So, 150 minus 2 is 148 and then copy the denominator which is 3. And then, since hindi kayang i-divide ang 148 sa 3, that is the final answer. So, isummarize na natin ang natutunan natin tungkol sa zero and integral exponent. So, first is the zero exponent for any value or variable a where a is not equal to zero, a raised to zero is always equal to one. If ang example natin is one million raised to zero, that is always equal to one. Next is the integral exponent. Any expression has an integral exponent if the exponent is either positive or negative integers. Sa integral exponent, meron tayong dalawang formula. If ang given is 1 over a raised to negative n, na kung saan negative yung exponent ng denominator, gagawin lang natin whole number, or aalisin natin yung pagiging fraction niya. So, the answer is a raised to positive n. Ang pangalawa, pangalawa namang formula is, kapag ang given ay naka-negative exponent, which is whole number yung given, so a raised to negative n, gagawin lang natin fraction or reciprocal. 1 over a raised to positive n. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all!